Hello. Having fungus affect your prized cameras or lenses is an absolute nightmare. Fungus is evil stuff and will decimate the value of your equipment. It really is important to know what causes it and how to avoid it. My name is Jonathan Harrison, Worldwide Camera Exchange. I'm going to run through what you should and shouldn't do to avoid fungus affecting you. Okay, so what is fungus and, and why does it why does it affect lenses and camera viewfinders? Um, why is it sometimes you'll look inside a lens and you'll see some nasty little spidery spot inside? Fundamentally, it's, it's caused by bad storage. Fungus loves damp. It loves enclosed airless environments and it, it loves darkness. And if, you, if you're storing your equipment inappropriately, it, it, will, it will affect and grow on organic matter. Now, when I say organic matter, think about leather, leather camera straps, think about canvas, canvas cases, think about expensive cases made of leather and canvas, and quite surprisingly, think about coatings, optical coatings found in in lenses and optical coatings found in camera viewfinders. They are organic and fungus will grow in those things. So for, first of all, how do you generally spot it? If you look if you look through a lens and into a lens very carefully, look from look from the back, look from the front and also look at the front element and at the back element. Sometimes you will see spider-like um, growth across the surfaces. Now I'm going to put some pictures up now of, of really the three areas, the, the three types of fungus you'll see. First of all, um, there's a picture of, of fungus on actually on the, on, the, on the back element of a lens. You can see the fungus beginning to grow, the colony of fungus beginning to develop, and you can see the, um, the little sort of legs starting to grow from the center. If you get it on the back element or the front element and you catch it really quickly, you can probably clean it off. Um, if it develops further, you'll sometimes see fungus growing growing in from the edges of the lens. And again, I'll, I'll put a picture up showing fungus growing in from the edges of the lens. Again, sort of spidery legs growing in from the um, in, in from the outer edges of the of the internal optics. Um, you can also sometimes see it growing from a central point. So you'll see a little black spot in the middle and you'll see legs growing out, um, growing out from that central spot. Again, I'll, I'll post another picture of, of the sort of snowflake type fungus, the sort of spider type fungus. Um, all three types of fungus are an absolute nightmare. Um, if you see it in your lenses, the first thing to do is, is, is to just move, move the affected lenses or the affected camera away from all your other equipment. Um, send it off to a repairer, have a repairer have a look at it. A, a good repairer will strip the equipment right down and will put the, put, put the equipment in a, in a sealed environment of ammonia, which will actually kill off the fungus. Alternatively, some people expose the affected parts to strong UV light, which, um, which also kills off the fungus. Problem is though, even once the fungus is killed, even once you've cleaned the fungus off the surfaces, the, 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 the tracks remain because the tracks have actually eaten into the coating. So even if you go to the expense of having it all stripped down, cleaned, put back together again, you can, you can still look through and, and see the fungal tracks, which is, uh, which is a, a real nightmare, it really is. So the, um, the big question is, how do you stop it happening? As I mentioned earlier, fungus likes three things. It likes darkness, it likes dampness, and it likes confined environments. So if you keep your equipment in a canvas camera bag, in the bottom of your wardrobe, in your bedroom, and you and your partner have regular showers in the ensuite bathroom, don't be surprised if your equipment gets affected by fungus. Sooner or later, it just will be. When you're finished with your equipment, Take it out of the bag and put it on shelves. Put it on shelves in daylight. The stuff hates, hates UV light. The stuff hates moving air. 
and the, the, that's just the best place to store stuff. Okay, you, you might get your equipment dusty, that's a lot, be a lot, lot better than having it affected by, by fungus. If you do want to keep it in a, um, in a, in, in a, in a box or in a case, you, you can buy silica gel and other, and other devices that will dry out the atmosphere. But don't forget, if you are using little, little sachets of silica gel, that stuff does get exhausted very, very quickly. So you do need to regularly dry it out in an oven to make sure it continues to absorb um, uh, moisture because those little sachets will only work for a week or so and they they themselves will then become saturated and at that point that they they, they 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 do no good so my advice would be to keep it in in, in, a, in a on an open shelf or in cupboards that are regu regularly opened and closed so the air moves around and so the equipment does get does get lots of light. I hope that's been um, useful. Uh, if you have any comments, please stick them in the box below. Otherwise, please subscribe and like. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.